Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing some Morphe products. So I'm building my makeup artist kit and I wanted to look for a company that offered me options. I wanted something to work for everyday glam, events, and bridal. So I looked to Morphe for some answers. So what did I find in this journey? Keep on watching. So before we get started, who is Morphe? For those of us that don't know, Morphe actually was Morphe brushes and they started as a makeup supply store in California and through the years they've evolved into the Morphe brand that we know today. So I looked to them because I knew that they still have that makeup supply store concept, so I made an order. We're going to be breaking down this video into three easy categories. We're gonna be looking at products like face palettes, single bronzer, and eyeshadow palettes to answer the question, is it worth it? We're specifically going to be focusing on three things, packaging, color story, and pigmentation. So let's dive in. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started with the face palette. So when I was shopping for face palettes, I specifically was looking for a palette that offered me options. Because as a makeup artist or just a makeup enthusiast, I just wanna have the option of having everything there. So I found some interesting options for their face palette collection. When I got them, I was very pleasantly surprised. So I appreciated the fact that they were all labeled, as you can tell, color coordinated and they also have it by skin tone which is super useful I can simply grab a palette and I don't have to think about the skin tone and the colors that need to go with that skin tone. All right guys, so if we open these palettes, they are pretty sturdy, clean, sleek packaging. No matter what complexion tone you get, they're all going to look like this. Pretty standard Morphe palette. It is hard plastic and you have the actual label of the palette in the back. When I open this packaging, it has a full size mirror which is super appreciated. And you have the entire section of complexions that only cater to that skin tone. So I think that's amazing. They are all named, so we don't have to wonder. It does come with a little plastic cover that has all the specific names, which I would have appreciated in the back of the palette. But as far as like brightener, bronzer, you have two options of each of these. I feel like this is really, really nice. It's common compact, it's sleek, and it's durable. So when I opened these palettes and I wanted to check for color story, I wanted to make sure that the selections that they had for that skin tone actually gradiated into the skin tones. So if I started with my light skin tones, for example, this palette has a brightener, two bronzers, a contour, two blushes, and two highlighters. I feel like their selections for color stories were very spot on for the skin tones. I will say that for this light one, I did try it out today. I wish that the contour shade would have been a little bit more neutral, but other than that, I feel like the bronzers, the highlighter, and the blush look very, very nice on the skin. And for the rest of the complexions, they are, again, very pigmented, very beautiful. I want to say that the color selection was also very delicate. You don't have very intense, aggressive colors. They were going for more of like a sculpt fresh defined look. Lastly, pigmentation is spot on. It is amazing. I will say they are a little dusty, so just be gentle when you put your brush in the product and they just glide on. I didn't have to worry that I was going to get too much. It was definitely buildable and very pigmented. <music> All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into single bronzers. When I ordered these single bronzers, the reason I ordered them was because I thought, if I really like one of these shades in the face palette and I run out, can I buy this in singles? And the answer is yes. I was very, very excited that I could match the face palette contour and bronzers to actual singles, so I had to try them. I was very pleasantly surprised with the packaging. I wanted to show this off how beautiful is this foil gold foil 
Can we ever get enough? No. This reminds me of like the old Great Gatsby kind of styling vibes. I really appreciate it. Standard sleek black box. The outside already has the names, kind of like the face palettes. If you unite all of the boxes, they are kind of color coordinated for you and labeled. So I really, really appreciate that. As far as the actual product, look at this. So the outside also has the gold foil and it says Glamour Bronze. These are almost the size of my face. So granted, this is a face and body bronzer, but I still appreciate all the product that I am getting. I'm also getting a full size mirror, which is super convenient. You pack it, you can bronze, and you're on the go. This is magnetic, so it is super nice, resistant, sleek, durable, and amazing. All right, so let's talk about the single bronzer color story. The big, big thing for me is that all of these collections are kind of color coordinated on the outside of the box. I will say that the outside of the box might not necessarily match the actual product. So when I put them all side by side, I really wanted to see what was the difference in tone, if there were warmer ones, cooler tones, or neutrals. So I ordered the first three shades the ones that were available, of course, so I could get the light almost to the medium skin tone and kind of see what works for my skin and then what I would categorize as the darker ones. Or if these were going to be too orange or too much, so I could kind of know, right? We can't know until we try it. So overall, I really, really enjoy the color stories. I feel like these are going to be perfect for summertime, for any time that you want to look bronze, grab a big brush, lightly tap and you are good to go. So lastly, let's talk about pigmentation. I was so, so surprised that these bronzers were buttery soft. Like, I mean, buttery soft and pigmented. I didn't really need to do much. So I have so much product in here that I don't even know when I can actually finish this because I need so little of it. So I really, really enjoyed that quality because after going through foundation and powder, putting on bronzer can be powder on powder. And I really appreciate it that I just need a little bit. Buttery smooth and you are good to go. All right guys, so next up is eyeshadow palettes. When I looked at the website, they had so many to choose from that I had to breathe and think, what do I need? and what am I gonna actually use? So I tried to do three price points just to kind of see what was the difference. So I ordered one from about $13, $18, and I think 20 something dollars. I wanted to see if there was like a quality difference, if it was going to be packaging for the price point, and of course, if I noticed any major differences. So let's talk about packaging. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the outside packaging. Some of the boxes have a design like this one and some of them come on this more standard kind of sleek box for Morphe. What I do admire and actually like is that no matter what the design of the box is, you do have a large label at the very top corner and it tells you the name of the palette. It tells you whatever number is associated with the palette. And if you flip it over, they have the collection. So this one is blend the rules. So these stack together, they're red. And then this one, the desert palette, just has the name. So I'm not sure how they categorize the collections, but I do know that everything, regardless of collection and price point, always has the actual names. So the major difference that I found with the price point of the palette is the fact of the actual palette itself. So for example, this one is a standard sleek, hard plastic type of packaging. And this one had the actual design and is more of like a plastic printed type of palette. So the inside of these palettes do not have a mirror. They just kind of have the names, the color kind of laid out. I do appreciate that. They do have their icon and the actual packaging. If we look at this style, 
It's that hard plastic, that pretty standard sticker label that we get. If I open this type of palette, it does not have the names imprinted on the actual colors, but it does have the plastic with the names. So those are the major differences I found as far as packaging, regardless of the hard plastic or the soft plastic. I feel like these are pretty standard, pretty durable, especially if you want something to pack in your your bag that you know is not going to break. I feel like both of these are great packaging options. Let's talk color story. When I looked at all of these palettes, I thought, what do I consider my everyday, my pretty standard glams? If I was looking to build my makeup artist kit, what are the most requested type of looks that I'm going to be doing? So I wanted kind of like a neutral, a spicy, and then like a wild card. I really, really enjoy how I get a lot of different options. They have a pretty standard big selection type of palette. So they're ranging from like 35 eyeshadows to like 15. So they always offer you a good amount of eyeshadows, which I appreciate. And the color story is always so beautiful and aligned with the name that they are giving these palettes. So for example, we have the Desert Bouquet and we have the design. And this one was kind of more nude neutrals, earthy, and some violets. So I do enjoy that all of these palettes, regardless of which color story you pick, always have mattes, satins, a couple of glitters, and all of these come together beautifully with the color story that you are selecting. So whether you're selecting something neutral or more glam or a little bit more edgy and bold, all of the colors are curated for that specific color story. So I know what you're thinking. It's pretty, but is it pigmented? And I'm here to say, I am pleasantly surprised. I used these eyeshadows for my look today and I wanted to kind of experiment with the consistencies and textures of the eyeshadow to make sure that they were pigmented, that they were easy to work with, that they were buttery, they would blend. And I am very pleasantly surprised. I had not tried Morphe eyeshadow palettes, only a couple of face palettes like years ago. So I was very, very pleasantly surprised with these and the performance. The pigmentation, I did not have to go and dip my brush and kind of like struggle through it. It was a little bit and it was just you're good and you're out the door. So I really, really enjoy the color selection and pigmentation. The variation that they presented in these palettes are unbeatable. <laughs> So we've reached final thoughts and everyone's here for the answer to the question, is it worth it? I think yes. I had not tried Morphe products in a long time. And when I decided to try things because I was wanting to build my makeup artist kit, I thought, you know what? Let me try Morphe. And I'm glad that I ordered things and I tried all of these products because I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. I loved the packaging. It was sleek. It was durable. There's different fun themes and different collections to choose from. All of the color stories were really cute and amazing. We had different consistencies to the products and we had pigmentation people, which is the most important when we're shopping for products. So I feel like overall, if you are a makeup pro, or if you're a makeup beginner, if you are a makeup enthusiast, I feel like Morphe offers a nice variety for everyone and best of all, affordable prices. I think that all together really, really makes shopping at Morphe enjoyable because I can try a little bit of everything without breaking the bank. So I think try it, especially during this holiday season. They have tons of sales. So if you try something, let me know in the comments what you loved about it and if you have any recommendations for me. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any future uploads. Also, make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms at MUA Carla Trevino, where I share with you makeup tips and tricks, fashion and lifestyle because we all want to look good on a budget. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.